These universal rock backdrops are hugely popular for aquariums. When installed correctly, they really change the look of a standard household aquarium into looking a lot more like what you would describe to be an exhibit. And particularly with these really bulky ones, a lot of people are concerned about the amount of um, detritus and um, anoxic zones, dead spots or whatever, and sediment that will form in the back of the um, backgrounds. Now these flat ones are very easy because you can easily just put a silicon bead all the way around and you can easily ensure that sediment and waste doesn't build up in the back of the backgrounds. The much more chunkier ones, it's just not so possible to do that. So people are concerned about the amount of waste that goes in the back of them. Now the first question I want to ask you, everyone is, have you actually ever had a problem with that? So a little bit of waste does build up in the back of these things and a bit of sediment does build up in the back. But the bacteria ends up creating zones. So sure you do form a little bit of um, denitrifying bacteria or anoxic bacteria. But when they're, in when they're in zones and they're not actually disturbed, I don't really have a problem with it. So if you have had a problem with waste building up in the back of these, just let me know because that would be quite interesting. Because I just can't actually remember a time when, when, when it has. But the question for this video is really, what can you do about it if you are worried about it? So a couple of things you can do about it is if you can get circulation behind the back. Because let's say you drop an air stone down the back, so there's, there's air and the whole back is moving. Because the fear is basically the water in the back becomes stagnant. The water in the back the stagnates and then the oxygen level falls. And then instead of forming good nitrifying bacteria, you're forming denitrifying bacteria, which isn't really a problem either. But then if it falls further, you can form anoxic bacteria. Anoxic bacteria can discharge hydrogen sulfide, which is a concern. So, what can you do? Thing you, things you can do is you can make attempts to clean it. Um, if you put airline through the back, you can siphon detritus out. Um, the really chunky ones, you could even use a hose to siphon detritus out. Um, if that was done on a semi-regular basis, then that would likely be fine. If you can get aeration in the back, whether that be a pump that angles down the back, whether that be an air stone that angles down the back, if you can keep oxygen in that back area and you don't create a pocket which is going to lower the oxygen level, then you also are going to eradicate that problem. Or you can look at using things like aquarium detox. Now, if you use aquarium detox in, in your aquarium and you have a background like that, then um, this is potentially a very easy way of curbing any threat that you may think the background is posing. As I said, I've never actually had a problem, so this isn't something that I'm too worried about. I'm only making this video because I hear about it all the time. People say I'd really love to get those backgrounds, they look amazing, but I'm worried about um, the dead water in the back of the background. So if that was a concern to you, then what Aquarium Detox does is it provides a blend of minerals normally found in mud. And these minerals are assimilating um, bacteria and they basically go in and really focus on eating sludge, eating solid waste. And the bacteria which is produced by this Aquarium Detox product is completely incompatible with anoxic zones. So it absolutely kills anoxic zones to our understanding. Um, I've tested it heaps because I've basically re-decorated um, many aquariums that have been established for long periods of time. Back in the old days, every now and then you would have a problem. You would disturb gravel, it hasn't been disturbed in years, and you would release um, um, hydrogen sulfide and I have seen and heard of fish dying after the tanks been redecorated because of the release of hydrogen sulfide it is a real problem whether it's a problem behind a background that doesn't get disturbed is another question but anyway this bacteria so then once I started using this product if I have to re, re um, aquascape or redecorate a very old aquarium I will always add this first I will put this in I'll let this run for a month and since I've been doing that, I have not had one single tank crash. So I think it definitely does something in, in my experience. 
so it adds a blend of five different bacteria to um, to the aquarium so it's bacteria that would not normally be there this bacteria will compete with algae and reduce algae it will um, focus on eating the solid waste so therefore it will reduce how often you have to clean your filters it will definitely reduce the amount of sludge and sediment that gets in your gravel and that is noticeable like it, I've got let's say a, um, an example between a couple of dental surgeries that we maintain one of them we used aquarium detox over a period of six months the other one we didn't um, similar size tank similar amount of fish similar amount of food and you definitely notice when you were gravel cleaning the two aquariums that um, the one using the aquarium detox had significantly cleaner gravel and you did notice when you cleaned the filters that the filters were significantly cleaner so if you do use this uh, this product in conjunction with any backgrounds that you may be concerned about the anoxic zones will be destroyed by the aquarium detox hence um, hopefully relieving your fear that your background is causing any sort of trouble anyway can you put a note down the bottom um, have you used these backgrounds have you actually had any problem whatsoever with waste building up in the back um, or do you believe that that nature looks after itself and in that little dead zone at the back which is not disturbed a little balanced eco um, system is created and the, and the natural bacteria look after themselves I think this stuff's great anyway if I had a if I had um, a universal rock background I would probably put this in anyway because I'd rather have cleaner gravel and cleaner filters regardless of whether I have a background or not. Give me your thoughts.